Hello and welcome to our latest how-to video in association with Camping Gas. On a very windy day today, we're going to be taking a close look at camping with gas. Gas is probably the most effective way of cooking when camping, and on the whole, it's fairly straightforward business. But there are some things that you need to know before you get started, and a few important technical bits to learn. In this video, I'll talk you through the different types of gas, give advice on which you should use, and explain the various styles of cookers and stoves that are available. When you're choosing a stove, the biggest factor you need to consider when making your decision is the type of camping you plan to do. If you're hiking or cycling, for example, you'll be carrying your stove and fuel on your back, so it'll need to be lightweight and compact. If you're travelling by vehicle, you'll be able to take a bigger cooker and a heavier gas bottle. However, if you expect to eat out for most of your camping holiday and only use a cooker for boiling a kettle or simple one-pot meals, then a single burner stove might be fine. Simple, compact and relatively lightweight, single burner camping stoves are inexpensive and can be found in all camping shops and many supermarkets. In fact, this is probably my essential piece of camping kit. I take my camp bistro everywhere I go. My own has certainly seen better days, but it works as well as ever and it's always in the boot of the car ready to be called into action. Single burners like this one come in their own carry case and run on aerosol style gas cartridges which easily clip into place and can be replaced in seconds. Most have automatic piezo ignition which means you don't have to faff around with matches or a lighter to get it started. For one pot cooking and cups of tea they are absolutely fine. They're rather limiting for anything too ambitious but for frying bacon or sausages or heating up a tin of beans they are really all you need. With a double burner gas cooker and the right pots, you can tackle almost any meal that you'd cook at home. They're best suited for longer camping trips or if you're cooking for larger groups. Double burner cookers usually use larger refillable gas bottles and if that's the case, you'll need a suitable hose and regulator to control the gas pressure. And we'll go into more detail on that subject a bit later on. Some double ring stoves will sit on a tabletop or a specialist kitchen unit and others come with their own foldable legs and built-in windshields. They often have automatic piezo starters, so there's no need to worry about matches, and a grill option in some models lets you expand your cooking repertoire. For solo campers, lightweight stoves and cooking systems are the way to go. These are light and compact and basically screw or click directly onto the gas bottle. They can be quite unstable on rugged ground, but are ideal for adventure camping. Cooking systems where the pot is integrated with the cooker have also become really popular in recent years. The barbecue is probably the ultimate method of outdoor cooking, either at home or on the campsite, and while some people insist on sticking to traditional cooking on solid fuel, gas barbecues are by far the more practical option. The party grill from Camping Gas, for example, comes in various sizes and operates using different types of gas bottles depending on the model. As well as working as barbecue grills, they can also be used as a more traditional stove for general cooking. While gas is the most common cooking fuel for camping, there are some other options available, such as paraffin, methylated spirits and petrol. Coleman, for example, have a range of liquid fuel stoves that run on unleaded petrol for either family holidays or more adventurous camping trips. These are robust, reliable and economical to run, and once you get the knack of them, they're as easy to operate as gas. The two main options for camping gas are butane and propane, or often a mix of the two. As with cookers, the choice largely depends on the type of camping you do and how much cooking you're likely to do on your trips. And not only do you need to choose which type of gas to go for, you need to decide on the type of container you buy as well. And that will partly be determined by the stove you have already, as well as other factors, such as how you'll be travelling and the length of your camping trips. The first question is whether you should choose propane or butane or a mix of both. The key difference between the two is that propane has a lower boiling point and as a result can be used in colder temperatures without compromising on performance, which makes it useful for winter and high altitude camping. Butane burns more efficiently than propane and is slightly cheaper to buy, so it can work out better value for money. The downside is it's poor performance in colder weather, with problems starting when the temperature drops below 5 degrees centigrade. For general camping, you'll often have a mixture of both that will be ideal for use in normal conditions. After deciding on the type of gas you need, you need to choose whether to go for a refillable cylinder or a disposable canister, and again, this will largely depend on the type of camping trips you take and how much cooking you plan to do. Large refillable steel gas cylinders come in various sizes and are generally for use with bigger appliances such as double burner stoves and gas barbecues. 
These bottles connect to your cooker with a rubber hose and regulator, and it's essential that you get the correct regulator for the gas bottle you've bought. The supplier should be able to explain which regulator you need. This is generally the most cost-effective fuel source for camping, and large bottles are the best option for longer family trips when you're likely to get through a lot of gas. However, they are extremely bulky and heavy items, so you should take that into account. When the gas in the bottle runs out, you simply take the old cylinder back to your local retailer and exchange it for a new one. Disposable gas cartridges are the cheapest and lightest option available, so are perfect for shorter camping holidays or for backpacking trips. Generally, they are for smaller cookers, although there are some models of double burners and grills that work with canisters. There are basically four types of cartridge available. Threadable, click-on, pierceable and the resealable aerosol style cans. If you're doing a lot of cooking, then you'll go through these quite quickly, so you might want to consider a large bottle. Threadable cartridges either attach to your cooker with a supplied hose or screw directly onto the stove. They are lightweight and reusable and will self-seal when disconnected from the cooker, so can be used on multiple camping trips. While these are interchangeable with most brands of stove, it is advisable to use the same brand of gas and appliance if possible. Camping Gas produces its own click-on cartridges which are only compatible with Camping Gas stoves. Although they look very similar, they have a different style of connection point and this means you can't use a different brand of gas with your Camping Gas stove and their cartridges won't attach to another brand's appliance. Pierceable cartridges are less common these days. They only affix to specific stoves and once they're attached they can't be removed until they're empty which makes them far less practical. On the other hand, aerosol style cartridges are lightweight, inexpensive, easy to use and widely available. And these are the sort of canisters that are used in the classic single burner bistro stove. They simply click and lock into place and can be changed easily. You can remove or disconnect them when they're not in use or switch them to a different appliance. Generally gas is very safe to use but there are some things to take into consideration. Most manufacturers advise against cooking inside tents for safety reasons and we would strongly agree with that message. Always change gas bottles and cylinders in the open air. Turn off cylinders at the valve when travelling. Never attempt to refill a gas cylinder yourself, and it might seem obvious, but never use a naked flame to look for gas leaks. Inspect all hoses and hose clamps regularly for signs of deterioration. And if in doubt, get expert help. So thank you for watching our latest video on camping with gas in association with Camping Gas. Hope it was useful for you. If you're looking for any more camping information, then subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website.